Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome. Uh, now, in this lecture, we will continue from where we left off uh, discussing uh, thermodynamics in the context of uh, gas dynamics. Uh, so, we had looked at uh, 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 two very important concepts the concept of continuum and uh, local thermodynamic equilibrium, and also looked at uh, how uh, uh, thermodynamics comes into picture when uh, looking at uh, gas dynamics. Now, we will just uh, go through the uh, laws of thermodynamics and uh, processes and the graphical representation this is very useful uh, because we look at different kinds of uh, gas dynamic flows and uh, there you can consider them uh, as to be represented on a thermodynamic chart like PV or TS diagrams and that will immediately help you uh, understand several things about uh, the gas dynamic flows. So, um, uh, the uh, processes and their representations and uh, uh, as uh, said in the previous class we are going to consider a continuum flow and of a perfect gas. So, what are these uh, definitions of a perfect gas ok. So, uh, the laws of uh, thermodynamics uh, essentially uh, relates to exchanges of energy, heat and work and the first law of thermodynamics uh, is a statement that uh, the energy is uh, basically cons conserved you can only transfer it from one form to the other. So, uh, the total change of energy is the sum of uh, heat added uh, to the system and work done on the system. So, the energy that we are considering is uh, it includes uh, internal energy, kinetic energy, potential energy and uh, in many cases these uh, changes to uh, the potential energy and kinetic energy can be quite small. Then when you look at uh, the change in energy it is essentially you are looking at uh, change in internal energy. And work done on the system uh, is uh, the PDV work, which is uh, it's the it's uh, it has a negative sign uh, corresponding to the sign convention. This is the work done on the system. So um, uh, the main equation that comes about from this for a system is uh, dQ is equal to uh, dU plus uh, PDV, where V is the uh, specific volumes changes in volume ok. All these uh, mm, uh, uh, quantities are in uh, specific terms that is per kg ok. So, uh, this is the uh, important equation that comes about from uh, first law of uh, thermodynamics. Uh, uh, but when we consider open systems when there is exchange of mass happening uh, then uh, the corresponding equation to be considered is the uh, flow energy equation when you have flows that is coming into a control volume and going out of a control volume. Then when you look at the balance of uh, mm, the uh, energies and the work done and uh, the heat exchange then uh, there is uh, the quantity called the flow of work that always comes into picture and this gets clubbed with the uh, internal energy they form a group uh, U plus uh, PV and this term uh, is uh, known as the enthalpy and it appears uh, when considering uh, flow uh, kind of situations. So, um, enthalpy is U plus PV and uh, if you uh, are uh, differentiate this uh, equation. Uh, and uh, apply the previous equation uh, that was uh, dQ is equal to dU plus PdV. Uh, this equation 
is uh, also included here. So, you get the du plus p dv term here. So, you can write uh, the enthalpy d h is uh, uh, d q plus v d p or you get the next equation which is uh, d q is equal to d h minus uh, v d p. So, uh, uh, both these equations d q is equal to d u plus p d v and uh, d q is equal to d h minus v d p both these equations uh, are coming from uh, the considerations of the first law of uh, uh, thermodynamics. Uh, but first law of thermodynamics always uh, uh, relates to only exchanges of energy during a process as it goes from state A to state B and uh, it never tells uh, anything about the direction uh, whether it goes it can be whether the process can happen or not and um, this uh, is clarified uh, by the second law of thermodynamics and in the second law of thermodynamics an important state variable that gets defined is the entropy of the system. The entropy is a, a state variable and uh, uh, the definition of entropy helps us to determine uh, the direction of the process. So, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the entropy of the system or the change in entropy is always greater than or equal to uh, dq by t where dq is the amount of exchange of heat energy. Um, so, uh, uh, you should uh, notice that this is uh, equal to and greater than it is not exactly equal to this is because um, uh, during processes there can be uh, irreversibilities that are introduced due to uh, various things like friction and uh, so, the entropy change includes such uh, irreversibilities and in general it will be greater than uh, dq by t. But if uh, one considers a reversible process then uh, ds will be equal to uh, dq by t or you can write uh, dq is equal to t ds. Now, uh, important point is that uh, entropy is a state variable that means it uh, it can be defined uh, for two separate points at A and B and it uh, need not depend it does not depend on the process uh, that is followed to go from A and B. So, uh, this uh, uh, way of defining d q equal to T d s for a reversible system will give us uh, certain directions on how to uh, estimate uh, entropy. Uh, now, in general we should uh, remember that the uh, total entropy change uh, actually includes both the system and uh, surrounding and the second law relates to the total entropy change. Uh, so, delta s total is delta s the total here is even including uh, the change due to uh, mass also. So, delta s total uh, is uh, delta s system. Uh, plus uh, delta s surrounding and uh, this uh, uh, change in the total entropy has to be always greater than or equal to 0. But when there are interactions of uh, heat between system and surrounding one has to be careful uh, in looking at this second law um, and do not just uh, conclude by just looking at the system and uh, saying that uh, um, uh, it is greater than or equal to 0. So, uh, now uh, it is since entropy is a state variable we can always uh, look at a uh, reversible process between two thermodynamic states A and B and uh, you can uh, write uh, uh, dq is equal to T d s and from the uh, first law of uh, uh, thermo uh, the first law considerations we had the equations. Uh, d q is equal to d u plus p, uh, p d v and d q is equal to d h minus v d p. Now, here d q can be replaced with t d s and these two equations provide us means uh, to calculate uh, 
uh, entropy or estimate the entropy between two states. Okay, so, how to uh, clearly go about doing it? We will come within a few uh, uh, slides. So, now let us look at uh, different kinds of uh, processes and how they are uh, represented on uh, thermodynamic charts, uh, uh, thermodynamic diagrams. It is very useful to do this because uh, immediately it is visually available uh, to look at various uh, aspects of the uh, process. And uh, the common uh, types of uh, representations are the uh, pressure specific volume PB diagrams um, or uh, the temperature and entropy diagrams TS diagrams. And uh, one should also know that uh, the area under the curve of a PF di PV diagram is uh, the work done uh, while in the uh, case of uh, TS diagram it is the heat uh, that is uh, added or removed from the system. So, uh, they, uh, the representation can also be directly uh, related to the uh, loss of thermodynamics that we had uh, just uh, discussed. So, these uh, processes some uh, typical examples are of uh, the isobaric process which is um, uh, the pressure is remaining uh, constant. In a PV diagram the pressure constant is just uh, horizontal lines and uh, it is uh, immediately uh, observable while um, you have curves of uh, uh, the uh, pressure lines. Uh, in or in a TS diagram and uh, one should understand that uh, as you go from uh, uh, the left to right that is you are increasing in, in entropy uh, the pressure actually uh, decreases. So, that uh, you have to keep in uh, mind when we are going to discuss um, using qualitative uh, charts uh, then this kind of understanding will be useful. Um, now, uh, isochoric processes are processes where uh, the uh, specific volume or density is held constant and in a PV diagram they are vertical lines and in TS diagram they are curves again uh, and the curves are in such a fashion that as you go from uh, left to right or increasing in entropy uh, the specific volume will increase. Uh, the specific volume increasing means uh, density is uh, decreasing. So, uh, combining the two uh, you see that uh, you uh, previously you had pressure that is decreasing while here you have a specific volume that is increasing. You should also bear in mind uh, the slopes of uh, these curves in general the slope of the uh, isochoric line in a TS diagram will be uh, higher than the uh, isobaric line. Uh, so, that also you should be uh, bearing in mind so that you are able to uh, uh, understand these uh, representations. Now, uh, let us come to uh, the isothermal process uh, where in an isothermal process the temperature is held constant. So, in a PV diagram uh, these are uh, uh, these are represented all these charts that are uh, drawn here are for air as a perfect gas. So, uh, these come about to be uh, rectangular hyperbolas and uh, their direction is such that in along this direction uh, they are increasing. So, you have uh, 298 Kelvin it goes up to 620 Kelvin and in a TS diagram uh, the constant temperature lines or isothermal lines are uh, um, just horizontal lines. Okay. Now, uh, when you consider uh, these different processes then you are interested in trying to understand how, um, how much heat is added or how much heat is removed, what is work done and such uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, processes and interactions. Then uh, the uh, important definitions that come about is the uh, specific heat of uh, gases. 
Now, uh, the specific heat by definition is uh, the amount of heat uh, that is needs to be added uh, for a unit mass of the um, substance to increase its temperature by uh, 1 Kelvin. Uh, but for gases uh, the addition of heat involves uh, changes in uh, pressures and other state variables also uh, pressures and uh, uh, the density or the specific volume. So, then uh, the addition of heat uh, should be done using a certain or you should look at the process under which this addition of heat happens. So, uh, if you take the uh, first law of thermodynamics and look at the uh, different definitions of it and you s consider the internal energy uh, equation then you have dq is equal to du plus uh, pdv. Now, if you consider a constant volume process heat addition under a constant volume process uh, then um, in that case. Uh, there is no change in the specific volume or this part is uh, 0. So, then you get uh, dq is equal to du that is uh, the uh, change in uh, the heat added will directly go and uh, uh, result in a change of uh, internal energy. Uh, then the specific heat defined under a constant volume process is known as the specific heat at constant volume, constant volume specific heat C V. Okay. So, uh, the internal energy then can be written directly as uh, C V d T. So, d V d u is equal to uh, C V d T. Uh, similarly, if you consider a, um, the uh, equation for enthalpy d q is equal to d h minus b d p, then uh, uh, for a constant pressure process or an isobaric process uh, d p is 0. So, you get that the heat uh, that is added to the system should directly affect only the uh, enthalpy. So, you get um, uh, the specific heat under constant pressure as C p and uh, uh, the enthalpy can be written as uh, dh is equal to cp dt so now uh, the um, these uh, provide you uh, means to calculate uh, the internal energy and enthalpy of the uh, gas under consideration another important uh, parameter that uh, comes from here is uh, the ratio of uh, specific heats gamma which is uh, cp by uh, cb that is a ratio of constant pressure uh, uh, process uh, the specific heat at constant pressure to the specific heat at constant uh, volume. And uh, these values for gamma is uh, uh, dependent on the type of gas. So, for monoatomic gases uh, it has a value 1.67 like inert gases like helium, argon and so on and diatomic gases like nitrogen, oxygen and so on including air which is mainly constituted by um, uh, nitrogen and oxygen uh, the value of gamma is uh, 1.4. So, now uh, we are considering only perfect gases in our uh, descriptions here in, uh, in this course. So, they follow the ideal gas law which is P V is equal to R T where R is the specific uh, gas constant. Uh, this uh, specific gas constant is uh, uh, related to the universal gas constant uh, which is R u uh, which is a constant uh, to uh, by uh, uh, dividing it by the molecular weight of the gas. Okay. So, for uh, air the typical value uh, for this is around 287. So, R for air is uh, taken to be 287 joules per kg Kelvin. So, um, then uh, uh, the other uh, important equation that is uh, comes about is that for perfect gases uh, difference between uh, the specific heats at constant pressure and constant volume is R. So, you see that uh, C p minus C v is uh, equal to the uh, specific uh, gas constant. Now, uh, 
in general uh, the CP and uh, CV uh, need not be constant, uh, they can change. Um, and uh, uh, in perfect gases uh, the changes happen in such a way that a CP minus CV is always equal to R. So, uh, those gases which sat I mean those conditions uh, which satisfy these uh, uh, relation they belong to the perfect gas. Specifically in that uh, CP and CV can be constants uh, or taken as uh, constant and that is uh, then called as a calorically perfect gas. Calorically perfect gas sometimes you can also use the abbreviation CPG um, in the and un under this condition CP and CV are constants. Uh, this is often used while uh, describing the processes in gas dynamics. Okay. The other case is uh, that of a thermally perfect gas. In uh, thermally perfect gases uh, Cp and uh, Cv uh, they are functions of uh, temperature. So, uh, as temperature changes Cp and Cv change, but they change in such a fashion that they always obey Cp minus Cv equal to R. So, uh, that is uh, possible uh, because of the different modes of energy that we had uh, discussed. So, this is a chart which looks at uh, uh, Cv uh, as a function of uh, temperature and uh, it is seen that only for uh, moderate values of uh, temperatures uh, is, is about 600 Kelvin. Uh, okay, so, to close to around uh, 600 Kelvin you have uh, you can consider that C V is a constant or gamma is exactly equal to 1.4. But after that um, what happens is that during this, uh, this re regime uh, the main uh, modes that are in of energy that are in play are uh, translation and uh, rotational energy because the energy needed to excite vibrational energy is, uh, is quite high. But once uh, temperatures start increasing beyond these numbers then uh, vibrational modes also get excited and because of that your Cp uh, will start changing with uh, temperature. But even those uh, Cp and Cv they change with temperature they uh, still behave as uh, perfect gases. And uh, only in conditions that there are say thermal uh, chemical reactions happening at extremely high temperatures beyond this region, uh, you may find that they do not uh, obey the perfect gas uh, relations. So, uh, but in our uh, discussions in this course we will only consider uh, perfect gases. So, uh, and in majority of cases for uh, discussions we will consider the uh, calorically perfect uh, gas that is Cp and Cv are constants. And uh, uh, so, um, now that we have uh, un understood definitions of uh, Cp and Cv uh, and also looked at the second law and how uh, and the equations to calculate entropy, uh, we can actually uh, uh, come up with a few formulae to calculate the entropy as the gas undergoes certain processes. And uh, that is when you consider the equation for enthalpy uh, T d s equal to d h minus V d p, then um, uh, you can uh, do this uh, changes these are algebraic changes you can write uh, d s is equal to C p by uh, C p d t by t. And uh, so, if you divide this by um, t it will be C p d t by t minus v uh, d p by t. Now, you can use the perfect uh, gas law p v is equal to r t okay, to um, uh, write V by T in terms of R by P. So, you get D S is equal to C P D T by T minus R D P by P. 
Now, it is a matter of uh, introduct in integration of this equation. So, you are looking at change in entropy. So, delta s this change in entropy specific entropy is equal to this integration gives rise to log natural logarithm C p natural logarithm t 2 by t 1 minus r uh, ln t p 2 by p 1. Uh, here of course, you have taken that C p is not a function of uh, temperature. So, this is valid for uh, calorically perfect gas CPG. Okay. So, now uh, similarly if you consider uh, the equation uh, T d s uh, is d u plus p d v then you can uh, again do the same algebraic manipulations uh, to get uh, d s is equal to c v d t plus uh, r uh, d v by v and you can write uh, the entropy in terms of um, change in entropy in terms of temperature and uh, specific volume. So, uh, these equations provide us means with uh, by which we can calculate uh, uh, the entropy in a calorically perfect uh, gas. So, uh, an important uh, kind of uh, process uh, is the uh, uh, the isentropic process. These processes are when uh, the change in entropy is uh, zero, and you can uh, really see from here uh, directly that if you put delta s equal to zero, and then uh, try to uh, uh, write these uh, and solve for uh, the temperature ratios and pressure ratios, you can get these numbers. Uh, if you combine the definition of C p C v uh, with C p uh, uh, C v and gamma, where gamma is uh, C p by C v with the equation C p minus C v equal to r, you can write uh, C p and C v in terms of r, C p is gamma by gamma minus 1 and C v is 1 by gamma minus 1 multiplied by r. You can put them in these uh, equations and from them you can uh, derive these conditions uh, for isentropic process where uh, change in entropy is 0. You get p by uh, rho power gamma Mm, then a rho is nothing but 1 by specific volume. We use density because density uh, will, uh, is the one which is important when considering gas dynamic flows. So, p by rho power gamma is constant or p by t power gamma by gamma minus 1 is constant or rho by t power 1 by gamma minus 1 is constant. So, that gives us the relations between the pressure ratios, temperature ratios and density ratios when a uh, system undergoes a isentropic uh, process. Th this will become really important when we discuss uh, certain modules of this uh, gas dynamic uh, course. So, these uh, you can represent the isentropic uh, processes on the PV and TS diagram just as we had done the other processes. Okay. So, here um, now, this is for perfect gas uh, for air. So, again they follow uh, a similar curve uh, as is for um, the isothermal process, but this is not a rectangular hyperbola. They have a slope which is different. They have a higher slope than that for um, constant temperature uh, processes. And uh, uh, in a TS diagram, they have uh, vertical lines. So, uh, you can also consider a generic uh, kind of a, a description uh, where it is like a uh, PB power n equal to constant a polytropic process and the power n can be varied uh, between different uh, values uh, starting from 0 to infinity. If it is um, 0 then uh, a PV uh, p is equal to constant when n is 0 because uh, you will get 1. So, p is constant when n is equal to 1 then you get um, p v equal to constant which is uh, an isothermal process 
when n is equal to gamma the value of uh, ratio of specific heats then uh, this can be a, this is a isentropic process when it goes to infinity it is a isochoric process. So, by varying n a typical polytropic process you can consider all these different processes and it can have an arbitrary number also like 0.5 and this represents uh, their uh, representation in um, the uh, PV and the TS uh, diagrams. So, uh, in uh, so as I said that uh, in uh, almost all the cases that we consider in this course uh, it will be a perfect gas and we will use ideal equations of state uh, for the gases these ideal equations of state. Uh, are valid when you consider that the intermolecular forces of attraction are uh, negligibly small or almost equal to 0. Uh, but in many cases uh, in real applications that may not hold good then you need other equations of state. So, these are real gas equations of states mm, I have listed a, a few of them uh, Van der Waals equation, Rydlich uh, Kwong equation of state sometimes it is also uh, it is described using a compressibility factor. Now, um, they can also be used uh, along with the uh, equations um, that are uh, the fluid flow equations, energy equation and the equation of state. So, uh, the equation of state can uh, become a different uh, one from the perfect or the ideal gas equation. Uh, but we do not consider such uh, uh, flows uh, where these are important in uh, this particular uh, course. But these uh, equations have been uh, put up here for uh, uh, understanding that there may be cases where um, the ideal gas law may not hold. And in order to solve the compressible flow equations you may need to use a different equation of uh, state. So, if you look at uh, uh, this uh, entire summary, so we have uh, uh, looked quickly looked at uh, thermodynamics, it is it's a, a really vast field in itself and uh, uh, in gas dynamics we uh, take it that uh, we understand thermodynamics well. So, in case you need to uh, go and read it up again, please do it hmm. and only the essential uh, part that to relating to uh, perfect gases uh, has been uh, described uh, as of now in these two uh, lectures that we had. Okay, so, uh, the basic uh, first law, second law and the equations which become very helpful for us uh, in defining several things and different processes and their uh, representations. Uh, the uh, representations of processes in graphical manner is important because uh, you will see that in gas dynamics we have uh, several cases where the flow behaves like an isentropic uh, process and uh, then we can describe it on a TS diagram and uh, that will help us to understand many things of the flow and uh, that is often used in a description of gas dynamics processes. So, uh, please understand the process and their uh, graphical uh, representations uh, also. Okay. Uh, so, with that uh, in the next class we will uh, move towards the basic uh, um, fluid flow equations, um, the integral uh, flows and things like that. Before we go to fluid flow, uh, the next class we will uh, look at a few uh, numerical examples of uh, familiarizing ourselves with uh, the equations of thermodynamics. So, uh, we will uh, do a couple of numericals and then move over to uh, fluid flow equations.